Alright, this video I just want to show you my setup. I see um, some other people have posted pictures of their setup and organized ideas. Um, I'm not saying that this is more organized or anything. This is just what I have to do because of the space that I'm working with. One of the first things I realized is I needed a lot of different tools. Um, I had a Dremel and stuff like that, files, all that to make homemade security pins, key pins. I mean, I, I have things to cut uh, metal with for tension wrenches and a caliber and what else? files and locking clamps and wrenches, threads, sandpaper, mini vices. Got some metal down here in the corner. Make tension wrenches. There's other stuff in there. It's not all important. Um, I have a bunch of spare keys in these pill bottles, which I'm going to cover up. Um, aim it this way. Just I don't want to have to blur it out. Obviously, you see uh, clamps and little bags for pins. Another bench clamp and whatnot. Gloves for when I make tools. Um, I have in here a piece of sticky tape stuck in my hand. Um, I have a Master American padlock pinning kit. Got it all nice and neat and organized with what's where and whatnot. And then over here I have my regular pinning kit. That's a fake fifty dollar bill, by the way. Um, I have everything that I typically use in here and then this one's written it's not tight I mean I have T-pins and a couple plug followers key gauger for Schlage uh, about 300 types of each spring short and long uh, this is my mix compartment for different spools assos I mean there's probably about 300 spool pins here different types same with serrated pins um, and then I have like Schlage 0 through 9 because you I can use get away with using that in most locks. The uh, challenge lock I picked in my last video. I don't know where it's at. It's right here. I actually use Schlage pins in that instead of quick set. I just gauge it up with the right Schlage pin. So I like to try and keep my stuff organized. I, uh, this stuff is not usually on the desk. This is just what I'm picking. I can't really have more than just this mini pinning tray right now and this vice but then I got these magnet bars because they were on sale at um not on sale Harbor Freight was giving them away for promotion and I thought it I saw the tools on there and I actually had got it because of the tools then when I found out it was just a magnet bar and the tools weren't included didn't read the fine print I was like well maybe I could do something with that and being that I don't have a drill right now that and bits to drill through this brick wall to hang it I bought those 3M company brand um, hangers with the metal with the metal ends on them as you can see here each one of these holds three pounds so between the two it's six and it works great I tried like double-sided mounting tape like Loctite and companies like that wouldn't work um, the the tape would start to mold and fall down so I found that the, the magnet bars are the best way for me personally with my space and I kind of like it like this. I have everything in front of me. Yeah, I have to stand up to get some of the stuff, but it's not a problem. And then I kind of organize it by the type of locks I have. These each are, I got these, you know, with my first actual set that I got, the junk set off eBay. And this one right here, I'm actually selling on eBay, so this one won't be in here. I ended up putting it'll focus I put three padlock spool pins from an Avis in here so people who don't understand spool pins can um you know what I mean actually see what's going on kind of like how uh is that Southward I think that has it Southward or Sparrows one of the two companies have a uh, a spool lock you know it's not this shape but I see I used to see it all the time on eBay for like thirty dollars thirty two dollars so this is actually listed on eBay right now. Um, don't know if it's gonna sell because it's expensive to make it because these locks are about eight dollars. Shipping from east to west coast for something this size for the first class package is about three, so that's eleven. So I mean, I at least want to make five bucks off it because I'm gonna be able to buy more of these, and you know I have to buy the pins and. But I just did that because I had two. I originally did it for myself. Anyway, then I have just a standard one. And then I go with, um, even though I could pick 
more secure locks. I still always like when I see like these oddity locks, like this big ass 65 millimeter lock right here. I got that from my locksmith for four dollars. Actually, I got all three of these when I went to see him when he pinned me up a really evil lock up here that can't wait to do some work on it and show you in another video. But so like these are I, I call them the Chinese brand, I guess. Um, they're actually not that bad security wise compared to some of the masters, but they're still easily picked. And then this is something that I actually know the name of. I mean, I guess this one does say Ultra on it, but I don't know where you would buy those. This first lock right here is one of the first locks I started picking with. It's just a mountain security brand. Walmart sells it. Um, very easy lock to get into. It's under $3. Um, then this is the Do It lock by um, Ace Brand, or what used to be Ace Hardware. I guess is now Do It, <laughs> is the company called. Um, I just set the dimple here for the time being because it's a cutaway on each side. I didn't know where else to put it. And then I kind of progress it up, excluding the dimple. The dimple doesn't count. But then I start with the lower master, like what I think is the easiest, ranking-wise. 140D, um, the Magnum, whatever series. Uh, the master, this is a number five. And those don't have security pins. I mean, this supposedly does. I'm going to do a video right after this, picking this lock and another lock with it. And I'll go over that in that video. But then I have a Master 5, what is this, 570? And this is supposed to, I'm going to go over it in the video, so I'll save that for another time. Master 570 has spool pins. Another Master 570 right here that has spool pins. And then this Master lock in the middle is the M530 with the removable core. I have that here now because originally it would be back on this side but I had pinned it up with security pins and whatnot now, and that's going to be my first giveaway when I get to 15 subscribers. I'm going to give this away, do a random drawing, so that's why it's in the middle, because it actually has a serrated spool, a serrated, a regular spool, and then a plain driver pin. Then I got the Master 532, which I don't know which one's a little tougher. They both can be pains in the asses, the 532 and the 570. Then I got the Master Pro series, and that's here because it's six pin, and I do it comes pinned up to five, but it has room for six with the pinning kit. Obviously made it six. Then on the next, some, and then I kind of keep some screwdrivers sitting behind here because there's a good gap. I always need them when I'm opening up certain cylinders and whatnot. Keep like Allen wrenches for some of the removable core padlocks that need them. Like this needs a an Allen wrench, the Master Pro series. Then I go up to my next bar, which happens to be Brinks, because Brinks is made a little bit better than Master Lock, in my opinion. I think the tolerances are a little better. So here I have two of the newer, these would be like the 40 and 50 millimeter padlocks. But at a local hardware store where I'm from in Pittsburgh, when I was up there for Easter a few weeks ago, I saw this brand new in a package for $3, and I knew by this old Brinks logo. Actually, let me bring my light over here. Sorry about this. I'm trying to hold this as steady as possible. With that brand new Brinks logo, right there, the older Brinks logo, I knew there were spools in it. Definitely are. That's a good beginning spool lock. That one's actually gave me some problems. The cutting, the bidding is pretty good. And then here's another Brinks lock. I do the same thing. I start with which ones don't have spools and work my way up. This one actually should be on the other side of this this one doesn't neither does this one this one does this one does it just has the marine coating got into these before this walmart sells spool I wasn't expecting that when i bought it so oh, dropping shit see the video about being organized and i'm <laughs> well i have a lot going on that's why um this brink has spool pins in it this brink this brink is a this is gonna be its own nice video um this is a six pin uses the yale keyway <laughs> this is a pain in the freaking butt they sell two versions of this there was a twelve dollar version and a twenty dollar and i forget what the difference was maybe the size um and then behind it i have the brink's disc roll that back it's supposed to be over here it's 
it's not hard to pick. Um, it's awkward to pick, but it's not hard. And then that's all the Brinks I have out. And then I have Abus on display starting. Um, Abus 5540, which is a great beginning lock to pick. That's the other one I'm going to do a video with after this with the Master 140D. And then we have our Abus 7240s. I have two of them. A key to light, unfortunately. I'm thinking about doing, giving away one of these for a giveaway. Maybe they come with uh, five spools and one plane, but maybe what I'll do. There's a tight keyway already, so. But um, maybe what I'll do is I'll switch some of the pins up, maybe put some serrated key pins in there. And uh, not homemade ones, but ones from this kit right here. Abyss Titanium. This is an evil lock. Um, this is an 8345, and I say it's evil because if I pull the key down. God, I'm so sorry. I'm sure that was so loud. My locksmith had pinned this up for me for the Abus. It's a six pin lock, and the bidding is 818181. 818181. It's mean. And what I want to do is make homemade pins thread the core up and make homemade driver pins anyway let's keep moving along and then over here I have a bunch of you know key and knob cylinders um, I think these ones are all empty some of them are like ace brand some are brink some are just schlag this one's schlag right here uh, defined brand flash on one of these I think is a cutaway no they're all the same um and then up here I got my some Americans not all of them um American Lock 1100 series this is my first American it took me weeks to figure out how to get that picked and then the day I bought this after I was able to get this consistently bought the 5200 right here Ooh. Yeah, that was happening doing it one handed is harder um, 5200 series and then I have the 5300 series which I just like American locks I like the way they're built um, I'm trying to just show you the model number without this I'm going to have to turn that off for a second there we go um, haven't been able to get this one as easy. I they're they're a pain in the ass sometimes. I don't know. Keep some of my um my main picks that I use, and that was one thing I forgot to show in here. I do have bags of extra picks and whatnot. Those Peterson, I'm always placing orders. So that way, when they break, you know, bad. Ooh, well. And some tension wrenches, broken Peterson. Well, it's not broken, but it's bent to hell. It looks like a sword. You know, then actually there is a broken one up here still. I was gonna try and do something with this. Um, practice lock. This is a practice lock that I sell on eBay. This one is actually for sale right now, like sixteen dollars and fifty cents because they're not as nice as some of the other practice locks which you'll see up on the next shelf that I actually bought when I first started this I'm gonna do a video on this is an almost an identical knockoff of the American lock and I think I'll give you a sneak preview that this will be my next giveaway because when I ordered it I did not ask for this and I contacted them after I received it in the mail I'm supposed to get one padlock and they sent me four, well five total, but four extra, all brand new, all key different. Uses the American Keyway, American Lock Keyway, has serrated key pins. This one I know only had spool drivers in it, but five, and it's six pinned. It's pinned up with six already in it, so that's nice. Um, here's an oddity lock I bought, C-Choice, uses the Yale Keyway. Got it for seven dollars. Took it home, and this was right after I first started picking spool pins back when I did. 
and there were spool pins in it. I couldn't believe it for seven dollars at a hardware store. Um, more deadbolt entries that I'll turn into challenge locks or practice locks. Um, a lot of the practice locks that I have on eBay right now, I only have two quantity listed, but I haven't made because I just haven't made the other ones. It's Pamex, but it's just a five pin version of Schlegs SC keyway, SC1 keyway. Nothing fancy, but it's great for beginners who don't who need something simple. Then I kind of try and keep all my keys organized. This are all pre-cut different cuts for Schlage SC1 locks. So obviously I have plenty of different things I can use them for. That's where I'm getting my keys right now for this. I just take the toughest challenge ones and then I'll um, make copies of them real quick. That way, you know, I use this as like a guide. Some extra disc detainer lock keys I just found. Um, keep all my brinks on one key ring right here. Just the one copy of each. The pill bottles in there, they had all the second and third copies. All my Avis keys. On, this is for everything that's just out right here. Um, all the master keys on the key ring. This is like my unknown. It's like, not unknown, but asshole lock, Yale lock. Um, dimple lock. What else is on here? The Chinese locks. Sergeant LA lock because I don't have but one of like all those keys, so I just put them all on this one until those, to like you know the asshole lock key grows and wait whatever. And then this is Schlag. Now I didn't combine these with these because like I said these were these are just keys by themselves. I had actually bought them for nine cents already cut. These are all pinned up to, there. they were pinned up to different cylinders, master, some of them are master keyed and whatnot. Um, more tension wrenches, case for picks, and then I have, like I said, here's an, un it's threaded, it just doesn't have the socket screws on it, it's not pinned up yet, that one's ready to be sold on eBay. And then I got some bypass tools from Sparrows, which I'm very displeased with. The American driver is the only one that would go in, and I got it to unlock. If it doesn't have the wafer plate and it got this one this one does have it this one I can't remember I don't think it does but it broke already from sparrows <sighs> there's only two things that I've actually been happy with from sparrows this one's supposed to be for the Avis 7240 it won't even go in and they're like yeah on the video you have to force it a little bit negative you gotta force it a lot and it still won't go um Sergeant six pin mortise cylinder. Uh, another Pamex brand for practice locks or from you know myself challenge locks. Um, Schlage, another actually is this the one that has it? Yeah, this is the Schlage with the I got this. This was my first lock I bought on eBay with the cutaway to see how uh, the the pins and all that work. Where was that that was here? Uh, I mean, a lot of you ain't even pinned up. I've, I don't know. I, I use them so much and change them around. Defiant. There was actually a couple spools in there. I got that at Habitat for Humanity. Um, this was on clearance at Walmart. It's their Mountain Security. Like I said, this is Mountain Security padlock. This is their um, their uh, what's it called? Dead or yeah, Deadbolt. This was for the Deadbolt. Um. Got this. This is brand new. I've only I got it, picked it within five seconds of opening it, literally. But it is, um, was it five or six pins? I just saw the key. Uh, I think it's six pin. This key right here. But I got this at Habitat for Humanity. I think it was $10, and it was brand new in the box and everything. Had all the dead bull parts. And then over here, this is an, a nice one from somebody made on eBay, some some eBay seller that I'm, I became good friends with. He uh, helped me a lot, gave me some free stuff. That's why I want to do these giveaways, especially with this this master and the other ones. And it, it, it's just a good community. And um, actually, things like this, I had ordered like 60 ass of pins, and I had ordered this practice lock from him, and he let me do it on loan because I bought so much from him in the past. But that's a Yale six pin rekeyable, obviously, from the top. But I don't need it for that. I just bought it because 
to support him because I thought it would be cool. Maybe I could give that away. Then he made this, the Asa, with and without key. Oh man, this one's tough. That, that one's a tough. He did such beautiful jobs. Then I have another. Which one is this? Is this the Schlage E Keyway? Yep, 5 pin Schlage E Keyway. Um, beginner practice lock type thing. Another Pamex brand. And then I still have some more American and Masters all up in there in those boxes. And I got this big ass lock. It's not a security pin, but I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cool. It was at a Ace Hardware store. And then I have my um. Oh, let me get this up here without it falling on anything. Then I use this when I'm doing real fine work, repinning things and whatnot. Got a whiteboard for keeping information and sometimes I, I need to remember if I start switching things all around and whatnot. So I know that was probably a longer video, but that's my setup. Um I have extra magnet bars over here so I can keep going. I stalked buying locks for a minute so I can I've been selling things on um, I did a challenge lock and I'm selling some of these pins on eBay because I see people selling like six packs of full pins so I'm just going to sell my erosion because I just put that money back in the locks that way I'm not using my paycheck oh by the way I did a video on this on my channel this I got on eBay I would buy more if I could they're $18.99 I can't I think I bought the last one the, the seller only had three and after I bought mine it said they were out of stock this is re-cable to your house key for a quick set, KW1. And this had the serrated spool pins in it. And I was so happy because I have some now for actual, you know, cylinders and whatnot. Not just padlock sizes. I have them for both sides. And I would love to find them already made. I mean, yeah, you, I can make my own. I, it's just, I don't want to be making pins every night. I want to pick. And this is just my little setup for right now, so... Figured I'd share that with you guys, and I don't know. That's all. Nothing much to it. I'm not saying that's how everybody needs to do it. That's just what I do. I mean, that's how I keep organized. Um, and I keep out the better locks. Um, I'm, that's why I want to uh, put the donation thing on my YouTube. Because if I do get some subscribers, I'm obviously doing giveaways where I'm going to be paying for things and sending it out. But I also want to be able to get more locks. And I mean whatever man it's, it's just a good community so i'm gonna put the uh, donate thing because shit even after years hey i had a total of five dollars in donations hey that's i could buy two packs of pins each for two dollars or a pack of two different types of pins for two dollars each and you know still have a dollar left and that would give me 200 pins so whatever man it helps bike lock over here in the corner so that's my setup i hope you guys enjoyed this video maybe gave you some ideas and maybe not maybe not what to do who knows <laughs> but um yeah like i said that's the sneak peek on the next giveaway so i'm actually going to try and make a few more videos that i wanted to finish up because it'll be quick um if you like to subscribe when we hit 15 subscribers i already said it give away this master lock um if you have any questions want to see anything any suggestions let me know maybe any advice from me on my setup just let me know um all right thanks for watching